Hi friends, this is Mohammad Jibran and welcome to our C Sharp tutorials. In this video, I am going to explain to you how to use the combo box. So, beforehand I had uh, set up this uh, form which has one text box and one combo box. You can easily get it from the toolbox. If you just uh, go down and search for the combo box, you can get it. And now, what we are going to do is uh, we will be using this. Mm, <coughs> the objective of uh, our uh, uh, demonstration right now is to display or to add the contents in our combo box dynamically so for that what we will be doing is we will be saving the names written in this text box and we will be sh uh, showing them in our combo box so for that first let me just go and uh, change the name of our text box or we will just uh, keep it like this the name of our text box is text box 1 and the combo box is combo box 1 as you can see it over here now when I double click what I will do is uh, first of all I will declare a string which will be the name and uh, I will assign the value in the text box 1 to this variable then after that I will say my combo box 1 dot items dot add and uh, within the parameters these parentheses I need to give the parameter or the uh, item which I would like to add in the combo box so this is what I have given and uh, now if I run this I will add a name like bill and if I hit save it should come in my combo box you see bill and uh, next name Stacy uh, yes it is there and uh, we can go for mark here it is mark so this is how you can <coughs> add the different uh, values in the combo box now what if you if you wanted to uh, display the selected name over here suppose if the user is selecting bill so you want another text box to show the selected value so how can we do that so for that let us uh, take one more text box we'll add it over here and uh, now what we will do we will select this combo box we will go to the properties menu and in that we will go to the uh, events this is the small thunderbolt over here lightning bolt so if you go over here it is an event known as selected index change so double click that to activate that event and uh, once you have that you can write the text box 2 dot text text box 2 is the second text box which we had added just now dot combo box 1 dot text now we are going to display the text of combo box in the second text box so if we run this right now our combo box is not having any data because we have not entered anything yet so we'll add something Stacy if you see Stacy is there and uh, we'll go for Bob and uh, Bob is added over here now we'll go for Mark and Mark gets added so if I select Bob the text box second text box shows Bob if I go for Stacy it shows Stacy if I show mark it shows mark so this is how you can make the text selectable and you can do different stuff with that so and uh, one more thing if we run this application you might see a problem over here we have saved Bob and uh, we go for Sean and uh, now if you see Bob yes we have Bob but here the user can add anything from uh, his requirement is he can edit the values which he had already entered so, so if you don't want that what you can do is you can uh, write a code but uh, um, a simple method for this is you can just go to this properties menu and you can go for this drop down style and select drop down a list so now this will be a read only type of list so if I add 
Bob. So now you have Bob, but nobody can change the Bob. The Bob is Bob. Nobody can make him gel or shack anything like that. So this is how you can work with the uh, combo boxes. Hope you understood the vid video and thanks for watching it.